Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing as well as an overview of Pioneer Elite's brand new UDP LX500 Universal Player. Now, before we jump into the video, if you're into home theater audio and video, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. Alrighty guys, I want to give a big thanks to Worldwide Stereo for sponsoring this series of videos on the Pioneer UDP LX500 Universal Player. Now if you're not familiar with Worldwide Stereo, Worldwide Stereo offers an incredible selection of products in the area of home theater and audio and video. So whatever you're looking for, they probably have it. So be sure to go check them out at WorldwideStereo.com. I'll post a link to their website in the description below. So enough talking, let's get to unboxing. Inside the box we've got our really thick owner's manual. So that'll be nice to take a look at later on. Over here we've got our remote control. Pull that out. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Here's our AAA batteries. And we've got a two-pronged power cable. All right, let's go ahead and get this up on the table. Now the first thing I notice is this actually has a really, really hefty weight to it. It weighs in at 22.7 pounds. I'll share why in just a little bit where a lot of that weight is coming from. You guys ready to see it? Let's take a look. Nice. Woo, check it out, man. That looks gorgeous, man. Go remove this off the front here. All right, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this white paper, and we're gonna do it just like this. Just kidding. All right, man, look at that thing. On the far left of the LX500, we have our main power switch that has a blue LED. To the right of that, we've got our USB input. On the far right, we have buttons for direct, stop, rewind, fast forward, pause and play, as well as an open and a close button. And if we take a look at the back side of the unit, we have analog outputs for left and right channels, RS-232C, Pioneer's proprietary zero signal output, an ethernet port for network connectivity, two HDMI outs, one is for audio and video, and the other one is only for audio. To the right of that, we've got a USB port, as well as digital coax and digital optical outputs. And over to the far right, we have our power port. At first glance, the Pioneer UDP LX500 appears to be truly a flagship UHD universal player, which offers many of the features of the award-winning OPPO 205 that is no longer in production. Not only will the LX500 handle 4K discs, but it also has support for 3D, standard DVDs, CD audio, audio from a USB device, as well as SACD and DVD audio for those audio files out there. The LX500 appears to be very well built. It's constructed using a three block internal layout which provides ultra rigid construction as well as a dual layered chassis. Now there's a block for the power supply, 
one block for the drive digital processing, and a third block for the analog audio. The purpose of separating these three components is it helps eliminate electrical as well as magnetic interference between those blocks. Now much of the weight of the unit comes from the 1.6 millimeter thick chassis base which is reinforced with a 3 millimeter thick steel plate rigid underbase. Pioneer claims that the benefit of having this double layered chassis structure is that it creates a low center of gravity and overall rigidity that prevents the transfer of external vibration to the inner chassis and offers a superior reading of the discs. Now one really cool feature I believe is the ability to display the disc information on your screen by pressing and hold the remote display button. In addition to the typical playing disc details, you can easily check mastering information such as max fall, which is maximum frame average light level, as well as max CLL, which means maximum content light level. Now that's available on some HDR content as well as HDMI output information. Regarding video, the LX500 is capable of playing the Ultra HD Blu-ray discs, which contain up to 3840 by 2160 pixels. Now that's four times the resolution of standard 1080p. Thankfully it has support for HDR10 and Dolby Vision, and also features 36-bit color depth. The size of the unit is decently large. It measures 17 and 1 8 inches wide by 4 and 5 8 inches high and 13 and 1 quarter inches deep. The LX500 retails for $10.99, but Worldwide Stereo currently has it in stock and available now on their website for $9.99 with free shipping within the continental US. The unit carries a two year warranty and Worldwide Stereo even provides a 60 day guarantee so if you're not thrilled with the unit, you've got a full 60 days to return it or exchange it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up this unboxing and brief overview of the Pioneer UDP LX500 Universal Player. Now, if you're looking for a high-end Universal Player for your setup, I'll post a link to it down in the description below. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up another video. If you liked the video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I produce weekly videos on home theater audio and video and until next time you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video